Gentlemen, R-E-H-M-K-E, back from the dead again. Woohoo! It's been almost three months since the last episode, but just like I said before, I won't let that stop me. And today, I'm coming in with the first for this channel, namely the Road to 56 mod. This mod has been one of my favorites for a very long time, but for some reason I've never played it on this channel. But that is going to change now. So I was thinking about which nation I was going to play for this episode, but thankfully the mod developers took that choice off me, because they added two new focus trees, Mongolia and Sweden. And I don't know if we're ever gonna do Mongolia once, maybe that's a bonus episode that might or might not happen but Sweden looks pretty fun so I thought like you know what Sweden it is baby and when I think of Sweden I think of Swedish and when I think of Swedish I think of a lot of insults like du jävla, du fita, du hura, helvete that kind of stuff so I don't know but at least for me 90% of the Swedish vocabulary is just insults I don't know if that's correct or not but I would hope it is correct otherwise we're gonna have a problem <laughs> and rule number one for playing Sweden is you gotta found Ikea before World War 2 ends because I just found out Ikea was founded in 1943 we gotta speed run this we gotta found Ikea before World War 2 ends <laughs> Hey, look at that, it's Sverge, oh my god, it looks like, it looks like a certain male body part, oh. People don't make jokes about that often enough, but they definitely should. Because you know, there's some sort of joke imbalance and we can't let that happen. If one nation gets memed on for their teeth, then another nation should get memed on for their country's shape. It's only fair, right? I looked through the focus tree once before already and I'm probably gonna go down the monarchist path because there is one way where we can actually bring back Sweden, Norway and then go hard into Denmark as well then we can form Scandinavia and then we can choose to ally a lot of places which sounds like a lot of fun because the Kingdom of Sweden has been neutral for way too long so in other words the Kingdom of Sweden has had enough so it seems like not only Sweden has had enough but the Kingdom of Denmark has had also enough because look at this authoritarian here 40% fascism here I think they're trying to do the same thing that I'm doing but I won't let that happen because you know what they say Danska Jevla am I right all right so far um, not much has happened Poland and Romania formed their own faction called on Sanitaire Czechoslovakia joined uh, Germany did Sudetenland and they rejected because they had a faction and now there's a war here and I also know that there's a small chance that Germany will have a civil war, so the access could go down the drain as we speak. So Germany keeps going on the Are You Winning Sun spree. They declared war on uh, Lithuania because they rejected by Mel. Lithuania did join the court of Sanity, however, they were also guaranteed by what's left over from the Allies, and now Germany's at war with Canada and the Commonwealth. Yay, the war keeps getting better, guys. Mexico doing the classic war goals against everybody, and first they declare against the Netherlands. Wow. I mean, at least they have divisions for once. They could probably beat America, maybe. But the fact that they can't even get to the Netherlands, that's big yikes. Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> They've actually fucking did it. And they keep going. Nobody can stop Mexico. <laughs> America, Netherlands, and Britain. And next is France, and then they got them all. But France is also communist, so that would be really weird. Britain joined Germany. <laughs> did the Netherlands also join Germany? America joined the, the Brazilian pact and now this is just like weird because Mexico's at war with Germany and Britain and America but Brazil as well well not yet but soon man I love World of 56 <laughs> Mexico had a civil war no they were so close they took over LA they took San Francisco they took so SoCal but now it's over they can't win this anymore oh Mexico god damn it ah oh, that would have been so cool if they actually won that would have been so cool F in the chat for Mexico boys we'll see them maybe another time yeah so there was a big problem because i don't know if i did something wrong but i need to get rid of this spirit in order to go down the political path here but i found no decision or no focus that removes it so i haven't been able to do any political paths here and now it's 1940 germany declared war in norway and i'm just here i'm like bro i can't do shit so like i'm really upset about this maybe they have mosley right if they had mosley that would be pretty cool you know what maybe we should just set britain to go mosley and then i'll just do that and see what happens yeah i think that'd be fun me and my boy mosley declared war against germany so yeah um, i don't know uh, maybe i reloaded the game but maybe i went down a different path where the rearmament does not block most of the paths that i have but still some of the maybe more fun ones but still i can actually go down these paths now and i can actually get some manpower here too so even though i cannot change my conscription law because i can't get rid of this i can still get like 2.5 percent bonus conscription so that should be enough at least for the start right oh yeah also this happened i'll be right back okay i just found out this armament you lose it when you go to war. Really? 
But that's so stupid though. So if I want to do this or this, I just have to declare war against somebody. But who do, am I going to declare war against? Because like, why would I declare war against Denmark when I have a focus to get them? I have a focus to get Finland. Like, why would I declare war against anybody? That is so stupid. Is that really, really the only way you can get rid of it? Because then all of these focuses here are useless. Because you need to go to war with at least... Well, not all of them, but one of them is going to be useless. Because you have to go to war with at least one of them first. Oh, God damn it, man. Also in the news, Japan having a civil war. Korea is independent. Oh my God. The Democrats here. Tojo there. They're probably not going to make it. And also China declared war against Japan, I'm pretty sure. No. Defensive war. Okay, never mind. I think it happened last time where China declared war against Japan and not the other way around. It was like, oh damn. That was pretty edgy. Okay, boys. Norge is gone. And problem is, Denmark is fascist. So if I declare war against them, there's a chance that they might gonna join a fascist faction. So I'm just gonna pray that that's not gonna happen. But if it does happen, then, well, say goodbye. <laughs> so guess who just joined the Axis? Guess who just joined the Axis? Guess who just joined the Axis? And also, guess who wants to cry right now? It was really funny. I just had to focus to get into the faction they said no i requested manually they said yes now i'm just laughing really hard and i lost my woggle on denmark because this took a little bit too long but i think i know what i'm gonna do and mexico does the exact same shit as before they go into america get a civil war and now they're probably gonna lose yeah all right boys germany declared war against france and now is the moment where i will justify against them with my focus this one right here we get a claim on four bomb right then then we gotta go in together with britain because britain is at peace right now they got more divisions germany is also fighting not only the french but they're also fighting in china because ching china joined the axis and they're actually helping here so japan isn't invading china it's ching <laughs> manchuria is doing it which is really funny i think i've never seen that before so far they're breaking the marginal line right now but i think we should be able to just get the entire um, I could just justify manually actually but I think those 70 days will be enough because I think if I justify manually they will see that I'm justifying with right now they will pro they probably also see but there's a chance they might not see so the more people they add war with the better for us because then we can just slide right in here all right gentlemen it is me and my boy Mosley against the world or at least against Germany that should be good enough and also Italy they're losing to France you know why because they have 20 divisions all right guys we did it we took over Denmark formed Scandinavia and we also entered northern germany sweden returned to north germany let's go but the fight isn't over yet all right gentlemen so you have seen swedes in copenhagen but have you seen swedes in berlin and also swedes in the rhineland i don't think so this is how the german cookie crumbles baby because not only are they losing to us but they're also losing to all our friends because they got yugoslavia down italy did what they can do best namely giving up and they're completely surrounded <laughs> and this is the moment where Sweden stands up and says, we had enough. When they were debating about what kind of foreign policy they should have had towards Germany in the Second World War, this is what they should have done. Take over Norway, take over Denmark, form a fascist government, team up with fascist Britain, and come in from the north while Germany is losing from the south to communist France and Yugoslavia. That is perfect. That's what they should have done. Nothing else. The war has been won. Germany has been occupied. Kind of. We're not on the peace deal yet. Italy just gave up. Problem is China is now the, the last major. And I can't really get there. So I wonder if the Asian Defense League together with the Guangxi clique. If they can do much. France is also there. So maybe they can get some work done here. But it might take a little bit though. We'll see. Because I want to get that peace deal really bad. So I just did the focus where we can dismantle Germany and get puppets. And yeah. Um, Großpreußen. Greater Persia, half of Bavaria, and also Tyrol as a core state. Not the Rhineland though for some reason, I'm like okay. VSM didn't give them either, but at least they do have 165k manpower that I can use. They do as well, so I can utilize that at least to get more manpower here because we don't have that much. Okay, so apparently there was an event that in Berlin a bomb exploded and Adolf died, but we already took over Berlin a while back, so I don't know what context that fired, but apparently the new leader of Germany is Himmler here they are yeah they don't own a single state anywhere <laughs> so I don't know how that happened it's a lot of weird events just colliding when you're doing insane shit like this because I didn't expect there to be like an independent pressure but the fact that I got this far on its own is already cool as hell my next plan is to just attack Finland simply because they're guaranteed by Poland and Poland is in a faction there so they're gonna lose I'm just gonna make it really easy and also I'm gonna take a little bit here that former territories of Prussia just want to give them to my Prussia and that would be very nice and also stop the Soviets a little bit maybe I can get the war stop before them now I can walk into Poland baby Woo and take Finland at the same time that's perfect my puppet Prussia has more manpower than we have in this entire area here so we're gonna utilize everything we can get okay this was really weird because none of my puppets were part of the peace deal. I even loaded the save again and made sure that all of them were part of the war, but 
I guess not. There was some sort of other war that was there, maybe, that I missed or something. But yeah, the borders look like this. And so we have another German puppet. Then I wanted to give this to my Persian puppet, but I couldn't for some reason. So now I just have this. Well, it looks really funny. And also we got Poland. We took Poland. The Soviets got the rest. This is pretty cursed, but hey. It's free manpower for me. I will take it. So it has been a couple of years and I'm still waiting for China to surrender. Now that the Germans actually peaced out before, all of their units are stuck in here. They're my puppet units, but yeah, they can't get out. But that also means that none of the Germans are helping them fight China anymore. So they're gradually but slowly dying, which makes me very happy. Okay, the peace deal has finally arrived. China is finally dead after I don't know how many years of the mainland European access being done. They walked in China for a couple of years. We got our domination, some discount Grand Colombia right here. We got the Swedish dominance right here. And the Soviets are probably gonna attack us for Poland. But I think this is where I'm gonna end it for today. This went completely up and down the whole time. Since originally I wanted to do something completely different. And only afterwards I found out that, oh, you just have to declare war to lose that debuff. Still very stupid though. That that is the only way of doing that. That completely goes against certain focuses. So maybe they can change it or not. Or maybe I was just dumb and that's how it's supposed to be. But... Dr. MK will return.